Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. In the Ripple case, the SEC is now on trial and knows it. And I'm going to get into just a tiny bit of the article. If you're interested, every article is always available in the description below. Feel free to scroll down and click the link to get all of the details. And I think it's worth a few minutes to get into, but I don't want to just read through the entire full article. But it is a good one. Some agency chairs find an ambiguous statute hard to resist and they over-interpret their authority to regulate. And Congress too often goes along. So the backstop of this excess is the courts provided that the aggrieved have the wherewithal to defend themselves against the gargantuan administrative state. So this familiar story is playing out in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC lawsuit against cryptocurrency innovator Ripple. But the buck stops with the magistrate judge Sarah Natburn, whose discovery hearing in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York on Tuesday exposed the SEC's unfounded and flawed arguments. And some inconvenient truths for former SEC Chair Jay Clayton and former SEC Corporation Finance Division head William Hinman. And as we've discussed recently in a few videos, uh, even going back to, I believe it was September 23rd, 2016, stated in the SEC case, how it states the cryptocurrency company Ripple Labs Inc. So again, I think they are going to have a hands down win on this trial as they continue to move forward through the details and through the uh, case as it continues to move forward. And as David Schwartz said, their attorneys have good words. And again, when you have Ripple success, you can afford good words and in the next article too with simba uh, feel free to register if this is something you're interested in but the point i want to come out and highlight is the actual headline if you go back a year or two central bank digital currency a cbdc was stated you know it's not going to happen it's not coming cryptocurrencies aren't going to work they would never work uh you know with central banks etc now here it is it's common talk that's the point out i want to show and highlight of this article central bank digital currencies thursday april 8th 2021 at 2 p.m eastern time with simba and the topic's going to include the overview of central bank digital currencies how cbdc's can bring greater resilience to the payment system and enhance policy agility a quick review of major cbdc papers and initiatives stable coins and cbdc's a practical way forward to pilot central bank digital currencies. And again, this continues more and more each week to be more common knowledge and more of a common conversation about central bank digital currencies. In the next article, Space Focused Fun, with HQ, the headquarter in Houston, it rockets towards its $20 million dollar goal and as we get into this i want to highlight something as well because i think it's very exciting but we're going to get into that shortly so the space fund has raised 9 million usd towards its goal of 20 million dollars and its fund as the week is surpassing its initial first close goal of 5 million dollars usd so stating we are thrilled to see how many investors are placing their trust in our team says space fund founder rick tum linsom in a news release and we spent a lot of time slowly and carefully developing our processes and credibility so we can better serve both investors and the amazing space startup community and it's paying off so launched in 2019 with an initial fund that closed in august of 2020 space fund has already invested in 13 exciting space startups and the new fund will build on those investments while also expanding its portfolio according to the release so space fund is about combining a bold approach with a very conservative diligence and investment process says megan crawford and the space funds managing partner in the release and the blast off fund continues our careful growth plan but is designed to accelerate our ability to place investment in those companies that are leading the space revolution and here's the cool part to me because obviously i am a fan of stellar and xlm as well san francisco based innovator jed mccaleb co-founder of the cto of stellar development the foundation which is a non-profit building an accessible cryptocurrency platform anchored the blast off 
fund. So that was very exciting for the motion and the movement forward with Stellar as well. Continues ex expansion into different areas and different industries. Next up, JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon. Fintech is an enormous competitive threat to banks. And he states banks are facing extensive competition from Silicon Valley, both in the form of fintechs and big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, and Walmart, Diamond wrote. And that is here to stay. Next article I'd like to discuss is a large chunk of the retail investment crowd started during the issue at hand the Schwab survey shows 15% of current retail investors began investing in 2020. A new Charles Schwab survey showed and Schwab is dubbing the investors that jumped into the market for the first time in 2020, the generation investor. Also too unimpeded by SEC lawsuit, Ripple is set to supercharge Southeast Asia's cross border remittance. So blockchain payments firm Ripple, which is known for using digital currency, XRP has acquired a 40% stake in Malaysian cross-border payment startup, Tanglo, to gear up for its expansion in Southeast Asia. And the firm announced on its website on March 30th, the investment took place even as Ripple has an ongoing legal fight with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, in the United States. And the Southeast Asia has increased by 10x in 2020 and guys remember this is not financial advice it's for entertainment purposes only but before we go i want to leave you with a final thought it's not whether you get knocked down it's whether you get back up and i want to say thanks to our vip on patreon surf merchant and to each and every one of you we'll catch you in the next one